You see a lot of flags this time of year between Election Day and Veterans Day, but many of those flags have stories of their own. News 10's Joe Ostrowski tells us about one of those flags and the unusual place it turned up. They're boxes and buckets, covered in dust and eaten by rust, each holding relics of the past relegated to basements, barns, and attics. It was just such a place that drew Jim Sturley decades ago. Well, my brother had a filling station grocery store combination, and right across the street from that was an empty house, and he purchased that house and let me go through. And Inside, he found this old lard bucket, and inside that, this old American flag. There's 48 stars, and uh, so we know it's old and uh, in pretty good shape. To keep it that way, Sterling placed the flag back in its can and left it there for about 50 years. Recently, he opened the bucket once more and found new clues to the flag's story. There was the U.S. Navy uniform, a shirt bearing the name E.L. De Bruyler, and two hats, one bearing the name of this ship. The USS Tulsa. American gunboat on patrol has these river families as neighbors. For years, the Tulsa had patrolled the South Pacific as part of the Asiatic Fleet. A gunship, it was decommissioned in 1946. That storied history leads Sturley to wonder just whose flag and whose uniform lie in his shed. I feel like maybe it was on the ship, and, and this whoever this de Bruyler was. I don't know whether he brought it home or whether he was deceased. I, I don't know. Meanwhile, as he looks to the past, Sterling is also looking to the future, hoping to find the flag a permanent home where it can fly once more as a symbol of service and sacrifice on the seas. In Clay County, Indiana, with photojournalist Tony Cassasia, Joe Ostrowski, News 10. Great story. Sterling says he's working with a group in Clay County to display the flag and uniform. We'll be sure to let you know if the flag goes on display.